Hey YouTube, Kent from Think Trade Profit. I wanted to give you an honest review of Fidelity, the broker. Uh, maybe you're considering someone new uh, and you're an investor or a trader or even a day trader. Um, I want to share with you all the good stuff, everything I've learned about their platforms, and I'll tell you all the bad things that I know about too. Uh, it'll help you make a more informed decision. It seems like uh, I haven't found many reviews online about Fidelity and it seems like people um, haven't considered them for a second look because a lot's changed in the past six months uh, and with the way the markets are, um, how fast they are and how important it is uh, to have good executions and have faith in the stability of your broker, um, I'm going to give you all the information you know to consider Fidelity um, as another option for you. So let's jump right in. Uh, so first, I'll give you a little information about Fidelity. Maybe you're not that familiar with them, um, and we'll start with their reputation. Um, you can Google it. You can take my word for it, but they are one of the largest brokerage and investment management companies in the world. Uh, the most recent peak I had, they were in the top 10. And you can see here the largest largest brokerage firms in the world. Uh, they're in number five with assets under management of 3.2 uh, trillion. Okay, so biggest may not be best. Um, I can give you my experience with Fidelity. I've used them for more than two years. Um, I just started trading full time uh, a couple months ago, but I've seen them through all kinds of different market conditions, and I do have a lot of experience in different market conditions. I was a prop trader uh, in the late 90s and in the early 2000s. I've traded currencies uh, and futures uh, through the Great Recession, the Grexit, and other volatile times. We've had some of the wildest markets that I can remember. Uh, the last couple months, it's not unusual for the markets to be very fast, very volatile, uh, up and down one, two, three percent in a day. A lot of news hitting the wire, um, a lot of things going on that make the markets really, really risky. Some standout issues among major brokerages in the last six months. Um, late January, uh, TD Ameritrade and the Thinkorswim platform had a ton of issues. They're all over YouTube. There are a lot of complaints that after the change to no commissions, uh, the execution quality and the reporting back of times and sales and the tape and the fills uh, for Ameritrade customers was horrible. Likewise, early March, when the market really started to melt down, we saw problems with the Robinhood trading platform. There were investors and traders there that couldn't uh, get out of their positions for days. The platform was completely down. Uh, even when they thought they had it up and running, it would crash at the open, and they were stuck. Uh, and there were people that lost a ton of money, and there was really nothing they could do about it. So I can tell you, um, through experience that Fidelity doesn't have these problems. The platform is stable. Uh, the last time I can remember a problem with the platform where it scared me to trade was probably last June. There was something with, uh, there was a little bit of delay in times and sales versus the level two quotes. Um, and it was resolved before the end of the day. But when that happened, when that kind of thing happens, it spooks me a little bit and I'll just withdraw from the market. Other than that, I did see a delay um, where I wasn't getting times and sales for about less than a minute. It's about a month ago during some of the oil news and the the uh, oil trade war stuff. But other than that, the platform's been up. I've been able to execute pre-market, post-market, at the open, very fast moving markets uh, with no problems at all. The tape is good, the executions are good. I have a lot of experience with this and I can tell you that I'm not getting any slippage on market orders. I get fills. The platform's fast, it's stable, it's up and running and we don't see some of these problems that these other brokers have had. So let's talk about customer service. Uh, there's nothing more discouraging when you need help with something, something that can't be can't be done online, can't be done through an email, and you want to pick up the phone and get someone uh, to help you out with your account or the platform or what have you. And this is where Fidelity shines, and I think you'll find that if you do your own research and you look online, their customer service is excellent. Um, I can always get someone on the phone if I need to, even if it's just a question uh, or help with the trade execution. Uh, I've had some trade errors before where I put in the wrong order type, and as long as I had both sides of the trade covered, they would 
uh, fix it. So I had maybe a, a short sell that was really meant to be a sell and I had a buy previously. They would flatten it out for me. It was no problem to get someone on the phone and get these kind of things taken care of. I've also found bugs or defects. Um, and while they didn't resolve them immediately, they knew exactly what I was talking about. The people, it's not some call center. These people are really educated. They definitely know um, everything about the securities industry. They can answer the uh, questions intelligently. I know I used to work for a large uh, brokerage here in the southeast so um, I could throw some complicated questions at them um, and they knew exactly what I was talking about so it's a real joy um, likewise their computer systems I've never in a situation where uh, I get on the phone with them and I ask them a question and they're like oh well let me pull up my computer system and it's slow I get that a lot at banks and other kind of uh, phone services but not a fidelity they're in my account they they're looking at things they already know uh, they already see the problem and they're already acting on it so the customer service is excellent getting someone on the phone is no problem uh, likewise I've never had a problem with email replies or anything like that so it gives me a lot of confidence that if there ever were some kind of disaster um, and I need to get out of a trade or, the, or something and all my other options were um, I didn't have any other options then I could go and get someone on the telephone So let's talk about their platforms. They do have a mobile app, they do have a web platform, and then they have their kind of premier platform, Active Trader Pro. So this is the splash page when you log in to the web platform. Uh, there's a lot to do here. This is a kind of a new home page they have, so you can jump right to the things that you want to do. Uh, but you could take a look at your accounts. The company deals in mutual funds, in stocks, in options, um, IRAs, 401ks. Um, they now run HSAs too, which is very rare, so you can have your health savings account here too. But so much information. So while you've got the mobile and the web um, options, the real gem of Fidelity is Active Trader Pro. It's not web-based, it's a Windows or Mac application that you actually download. And you can see it uh, on my screen here on the right hand side. And the thing that's changed in the last six months with uh, most of the major brokers going to zero commissions, Active Trader Pro, when I got access to it, it required you to have um, 36, um, at least 36 commission trades within a year. So I essentially uh, paid at least $180 of commission just to have access to this. It was more for active traders and that kind of thing. Now anybody has access to it. Um, you can go to the website and get it without any uh, restrictions. It's a download, it hooks up to your accounts, and um, you have access to it. So it really is um, an advanced platform. It shouldn't discourage you if you're uh, new to the markets. It's great to get in there and play around with it and become familiar with all the tools. There's a wealth of indicators and research, order types, um, and just ways to really finesse um, your investments or your trades and protect yourself. I'll show a couple of those just so uh, people have an idea because it, it, Fidelity really is worth a second look considering the changes that have happened since last October. Let's take a look at just some of the things that are wrapped into Active Trader Pro. This is just a limited view. Um, this is kind of uh, the charts that I use for Facebook. But you can have multiple tabs uh, on this chart so you could have um, different uh, time frames there's I think more than 70 built-in indicators so you can add whatever you want to the charts pretty much everything and anything you wanted to do um, there's some different patterns and events support and resistance and stops that you can uh, play with the settings here there's uh, events on the charts like splits dividends earnings tax lots that's for you but there's just a wealth of customization here that you can do again this updates in real time it's the Windows application. We're actually past extended hours now, so you're not really seeing much hit the tape over here. This is um, the level two quote for Facebook. Um, you can manipulate and change all of these windows and shove them all around. There's a ton of different uh, ways to um, configure your layout, whatever, whatever's most important to you. And you can link screens together so that when you change the quote, um, the information changes respectively. This is a little cleaner layout of Active Trader Pro. There's a lot going on, but I just wanted to show you um, the options for different kinds of order types. This one over on the far right is a directed uh, order type. 
um, if you really want to get fancy you can route them to specific ECNs uh, set certain conditions and that kind of thing um, I just used a lot of limit orders and market orders and I do the automatic I don't specify the routing um, there is another way there's something they have called trade armor it's not really suited for super fast short-term trading but it is good for investing um, it has a lot of different conditional order types so you can put in a uh, say a bracket order to trigger either your profit target or your stop loss um, and you could put in a buy order and then uh, that'll trigger the stop loss or the profit target so it's basically a set and forget you could trigger this market order and say hey I want to execute if it gets here or if it gets here and you can slide these cool things around too I don't really use it during a really fast market because there's a lot of conditional stuff but if you just want to invest in something and set it and, and let it take care of itself this is a good way to do it and these are adjustable over time or will adjust the open orders so that's pretty cool the most important thing that I wanted to talk about so that people will consider taking a second look at fidelity is um, executions and cost so when I talk about executions this is really a little bit more important to people who are trading uh, intraday or in fast markets where there's news and that kind of thing and I know people have even tried to do this in Robinhood which I can't imagine because there is a delay in those fills I have I had a Robinhood account just to, to take a look at it when they were new um, and it doesn't stand up to what Fidelity can offer you or one of the other major uh, platforms when they're stable there's just no reason to use something like Robinhood which is essentially a toy at this point considering the issues they had in March um, when you have zero commission brokers all the major brokers went to zero commissions last October uh, Fidelity included and that was really a game changer uh, it's the first time in probably 20 years where accessibility to the markets and costs have uh, favored the little guy, the small investor. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that we were paying commissions of uh, $4.95 a side. So if I buy, I pay $4.95. If I sell, I pay $4.95. It's really hard to trade over the super short term like that because um, 10 or 20 executions in a day, it adds up to $50, $100. And that comes straight out of your pocket. Um, I was trading with the, that kind of hindrance um, in the past two years. And being uh, mildly profitable and under those conditions, um, when Fidelity joined the other two major broker, the other two major brokerages, uh, E-Trade, Ameritrade, Schwab, then went. So I'm sorry, there were three, and then Fidelity was last. When they went zero commission, um, I knew it was a big deal. And kind of keeping up with the platform and and trading as much as I could, uh, I noticed that the executions they didn't worsen in any way whatsoever. I'm going to go into that a little bit more. But zero commission trades is such is just such a big deal for the small investor. So if you're just getting started in the markets and that kind of thing, um, be grateful it wasn't always this inexpensive to enter the markets. So with that, um, the executions in Fidelity are excellent. Um, they are one of the um, few brokers that do not um, get paid for order flow. So uh, getting paid for order flow has been around for 20, 30 years probably. It goes back to the old days when the, the markets had spreads and there were market makers. Um, there's an advantage to having a lot of people send you their orders so that you can execute off of them and make a market. And a lot of brokers do um, get paid for their order flow. Uh, E-Trade. Um, I'm pretty sure Schwab does. Uh, Ameritrade does. Even some of the 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 kind of professional um, day trade brokers like Lightspeed Trading, they sell their order flow. So most of the major brokerages do sell their order flow. They get compensation by taking the orders that um, you and I put in and they route them out to um, a different company who will execute them, but they do get a peek at them. So there are advantages and we're talking about fractions of a penny and that kind of thing. There shouldn't be something so terrible that your executions are really poor. Otherwise you shouldn't use that broker, but they do take little pieces out and Fidelity doesn't do this. They do not get compensated for order flow and stock transactions. And it's on their site and they report it to FINRA 
And the cool thing about this is if you trade with Fidelity for some time, you can actually see your price improvement. So I'll show you that here from one of my accounts. If you go in there, here's the year to date. Uh, forget about the top part because there's no commissions. I did page to that. You can see some commissions from last year. But um, year to date, I have uh, 575 orders. And the price improvement, uh, the value to me is about $3,000. Um, it's not something noticeable that comes in on every trade like um, but you can see here some of my most recent transactions these are from yesterday is a lot of Facebook trading um, but I was trading about 400 shares of Facebook um, and I would get price improvements here so what's happening is is when you submit the order and it's executed they look at the national best bid and offer the marketplace um, and if they get you a price a little bit better and it's fractions of a penny in most cases um, but that's what they record and, and share with you. So you can see that um, yesterday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there were eight executions that had price improvements. Some of them were small, a dollar, three dollars, seventeen dollars, ten dollars. Um, again, these positions are like 400 plus shares at, at 207 dollars a share. So it's an eighty thousand dollar position. It's a really small, you know, piece of the big picture. But still. Um, other brokers don't do this for you. They actually sell your order flow and it could be that these little fractions go to somebody else. So it makes me feel good that Fidelity is out there fighting for the best execution. If you if you do the research and you Google them, they have this commitment to execution quality. They do report to FINRA. So yeah, if you go to um, commitment to execution quality from the main menu after you log in, you can see it here. Um, we're the only firm to voluntarily report full, uh, voluntarily report full price improvement savings using uh, the FAF standards. Um, and here's how it works. This is a big deal. It makes it a fair marketplace for the little guy. Um, and then they compare themselves to Ameritrade, Schwab, and E-Trade. So uh, they share this with you. Um, they're the real deal. So when I talk about costs, all their other costs, they've got zero commissions. You get price improvements sometimes. They don't sell your order flow. And I can tell you that the executions are amazing. Um, the market's closed right now, but I do have some tape from the other day, and I'll share that with you. And it shows you just how fast the executions are in a market. Um, I can tell you I've traded, like I said, the open very fast. I've never had slippage. I get fills. It's not even a second. When I get filled, I'm reported on the fill. This is some uh, tapes, some recordings I did um, from the other day just to kind of show the speed of executions. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, so a little bit after the open. And I think I throw, I'm looking to uh, put a limit order out there. And I'll just show you how fast the fills are. So I put a sell short, 420 shares at 203.64. You can see the price is 203.55. So just in real time, um, to see how fast this gets hit and how fast I know I'm filled. And again, this is 30 minutes after the market's open on Facebook, which is a really fast stock. So I think this dips down. It takes a second. The order's still open. And this is where it picks up. I was hoping to get a fill. I was trying to get short. So there's 58 cents, 55 cents, struggling still a little bit to get up there, but then it pops back up. So there's 64, and there I get filled. And now it's a little bit higher. And I actually used a bracket order there, so it was to protect myself on a stop loss in case it went against me, because the market was really fast. You can see how much it essentially broke out from there. Um, and I got covered at 203.88, and now the market's even higher than that. And you saw how fast that was. So it's a super fast platform. Um, I have no issues with it uh, as far as slippage or anything like that. Market orders are amazing. You can scalp in and out with market orders. You can use stop limits to protect yourself. Again, they're fighting for good execution for you. So with that, what are some of um, the downsides to Fidelity? One of the things that I don't like, um, and if you're an active trader or an intraday trader, is they do not have a VWAP, uh, volume weighted average price, built into the indicators. VWAP's been around for a long time, um, 20 years or more, and basically it's a it's a volume weighted average price, and it's a way for institutions when they're working orders for each other, the big brokerage houses and that kind of thing, when they're selling millions of shares throughout the day. 
um, they try to beat the volume weighted average price um, based on what's traded out there if you're buying stock throughout the day and you get a price that's a little bit below the volume weighted average price from whoever's working your order then that's a good deal and if you're selling it if you get a price that's a little bit above or or higher then that's a good deal too and unfortunately they don't have that built in, in the platform and I've been on some of the threads um, and the forums and that kind of thing and everyone's asking for them to add uh, add this because Thinkorswim has it and some of the other platforms has it so that was one thing if you're um, a very active trader and you're looking to use VWAP you're gonna have to use something else so what I do to solve the the VWAP problem and lack of that is I use TradingView it's free um, you can save a chart and I plot the uh, VWAP on here um, VWAP is indicated on the Fidelity platform, but there's no charting indicator for it. So I'll show you what I mean there in a second. But I just uh, use this and say a little small window off to the side, depending on how my layout is organized, and I can keep an eye on VWAP. Are we above? Are we below? Are we punching through? That kind of thing. Um, it's inconvenient, um, but it's a minor consolation. Let me show you where um, Fidelity displays the VWAP in the watch lists. So again, this is the recording from the other day. It's a little bit earlier in the day, actually. This is the beginning. Um, but here's, uh, I have this core watch list of stocks that I like to keep an eye on. And here's Facebook, the change, the last traded price, and they have a VWAP here. So this is dynamic, and this will change throughout the day, but it's not um, as easy to follow as, say, um, uh, a charted price, because that's what we really look for as traders. The other thing I don't like about the platform, while there are a lot of different ways to enter order types, I don't think it was designed um, as a day trading platform for super fast executions. That being said, um, it's a lot of point and click, but I heard Thinkorswim is the same way, that they don't have hotkeys. Um, so there are no um, hotkeys in the sense that you could have a, a one key press where it will sell at the market your configured 100 shares. There's close, there's some kind of quick keys where it'll pull up the order form but you may, you may still have to toggle a thing or two. So there's no hot keys to make really super fast executions. That's the other downside and I think that's something that some people might be disappointed in. It took me playing around with the platform uh, for a while to figure out the fastest way to do it and what I do is I pull up the abbreviated window, abbreviated order, order window with uh, no preview after I set the settings. I just want it to send it off and I have a couple of those open. So I'll open two and I'll use one for my main entry and the second one for my exit. So I may have a limit order on the first, I'll send that off and I'll open one up right after that as a market order for my cover. Um, so it's a little bit clicky. Um, I know that uh, Lightspeed Trading has hotkeys and you can uh, set up a lot of configuration there. There is a lot of configuration for share size and stocks and conditional orders and that kind of thing, but it's not on the keys. You're still going to have to click a button or two. So that's the other thing that might be discouraging to some. It's definitely, you can definitely work around it. Um, and I have, I'm very fast. I can execute very fast um, uh, using the order windows that I like to use. So it's really not an issue. Most of my trades are a minute, two minutes or less, and the executions are, are flawless. So I just wanted to be fair and say those are the two things, no VWAP and no hotkeys. I did try to use um, Auto Hotkey. It's a program for Windows applications to try to kind of get around this. It just didn't feel, feel very good even with the natives, uh, the native Active Trader Pro platform. There was still this weird delay and I went back to just doing it the point and click way. Um, but you can definitely, uh, just like any video game, um, you can get really fast and you can get the executions that you need. But that pretty much sums it up. I wanted to just kind of share my experience and my feelings with it. I think it's a very good platform and considering the costs and considering some of the other more professional platforms, Lightspeed is one where your trading tends to use uh, that platform. There's a lot of fees associated with that. They have you know multiple cents per share and different things tied to order routing that you pay for. You also pay for the time since uh, the the level two feed um, fidelity you don't pay for any of that uh, with them going zero commission 
the only costs I have are, it depends on how big my trades are, but are the FINRA fees um, that you pay for any trades, and it's like three tenths of a penny a share or something like that. Really, Fidelity is a great option. I just wanted to put a review out there and share my experience with the executions and the speed. There are a few little drawbacks, but the stability of the platform, considering the things that Robinhood and Ameritrade have gone through since the beginning of the year, um, it's a standout. They do a really good job for the costs. Um, I hope it was helpful. There isn't that much out there on YouTube about Fidelity, and it seems like uh, people haven't considered it in kind of the the more recent um, intraday trading craze. But it's been really good to me, and I'm going to continue to use it. I think it's very cost effective. The executions are great. The platform is stable, um, and the customer service is, is great too. So give them a look. Um, you can use them in fast markets, and they are very, very reliable. Um, I am not... Uh, compensated by Fidelity in any way. They don't know I'm doing this review. Uh, I'm not paid or endorsed and they are not sponsoring this video. I just thought I wanted to put this out there because there was so little about Fidelity online. So that's it. I hope this is helpful. Um, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I could really use your support to make more videos like this. So good luck out there. I hope you make a bunch of profits.